So we finished building the home screen and everything is working fine. We can start now building the back layer of the backdrop layout, this layer. But I prefer first to implement the product brand screen. For that, I already write its code. And I will explain it in details and apply some changes for it, so you can have better understanding for it. I chose this method of explanation because it will be hard for you to understand the code while I am typing and explaining it. So let's get started. So first of all, let's see how it's work. So if I press on this image, for example, the Samsung, it will take me to the Samsung in here and it will print 5 in here. If I press on Nike now, it will print Nike and take me to the Nike widgets. For sure later this, this design will be dynamic. For example, in here we can show only the Dell items, in here the Apple items. If, if the user press on the view all, then all items will appear and in here all items will be displayed. So I created a new folder called Inner Screens. It contained two files. The first one, the main screen, and the second one, the widget in here. So this container and row. So I will explain this. So I initialize a selected index which uh, indicate which tab are we using. And padding and route args as you may notice, as, and as I explained before, if, if the user press on, for example, this icon, Huawei icon, it will take him to the Huawei tab in here. Same for the Adidas, for example. So the route arcs is listening to an index that we are sending it from the sweeper from the home screen, from this widget. As I said before, for this index we will using we will be using it in the future and we are using it now so here it is now if i press on the nike for example four will be printed in here so let's go back to the brand notification screen and we are getting the value of the route args and the data change dependencies because we cannot get it in the init state or it will make an error so we get it as a string and we put the selected index equal to the string in here and for sure we need to call the end.parse method to convert it. Now I used the substring method because as you can see in here when I sent the index from the home to this page it's getting printed like this a bracket, then the number, then another bracket. So to get the value only this integer, we need to get the value of 1 to 2. So only this integer in here. If I change this, for example, 0, and save it, go back and press on it, it will make an error. Let me run it again. So I initialize also a brand in here and this will be useful to in the future to identify each brand and display each content to each brand. So to display this navigation rail in here, I initialize a layout builder that contain a navigation rail and we gave it minimum width. If I change it for example to 40. As you can see, this width they changed, but I prefer this, this one. And the group alignment, if you change it, for example, this text will be changed to another design. And the selected index equal to the selected index that I initialized it up in the code. And this method is being called each time the user press on a tab in here. So we need to call city state and put the selected index equal to the index of the destination that the user press on it. And for sure we need to call city state again for uh, for the brand. You can change also the label type. 
for example if I choose the none nothing of this text will be displayed so let's keep it all and now this column is being used to for the circle and those tabs in here so in here I created a circle avatar for this one and I give it the I gave it the this link and size it box between this tab and the image tab in here you can change the selected label text style so you can change the color or the font size and everything that you want you can change from underline to another thing for example overline for example depends which one you do you prefer and the thickness for it for example 1.5 the line become smaller and same for the unselected label text style and in here and this destination is being used to identify each tab of this widget let's see what's inside of this widget so it return a navigation rail destination and it takes two arguments a text and padding the padding that I initialized at the top of this code and we gave it the icon and the padding as I said and rotated box minus one so the text appear, appear in here for sure you can change it for example minus two if you want if you prefer this way you can change it or three for example I prefer one and you can change the style of this of this text but you don't have to because we already did it in here now this class is being used as the content of this navigation rate later on we will be displaying each each product according to it to each brand so this content space contains those widget so it return a list of you builder and I chose item count of five and it's returning the brand's navigation rail widget so this folder in here so I will explain it so first of all it will return an equal so once the user press on it it will take him to the product details screen but we didn't implement it yet and it will to contain first of all a container that has a child as a row I will change the color for this container so I will choose the red color so you can you can see the changes so as you can see it's the container that contain the whole widget in this container we have a container in here and another container next to it the first container is containing uh, the network image and I did some styling for the image and it's actually a container that have a decoration of an image and I gave it a box shadow but it didn't appear so much in here so I will revert it to the dark mode so we can see it better now it appears better you can change the box shadow to for example 10 so you can see more changes to the same for this so here it is but I prefer to and I choose fit argument for the image as box fit to contain and I give it decoration color for the container of the background color you can choose the card color also so as you like now this container is for this widget for example if I change the color for it you can see the changes here it is it contain a title text and the price and the category name text and I did some decoration for this container and for those texts 
and here uh, it gave it just like this one a box shadow but different radius and different arguments and I gave it a width for example you can change it for sure you can choose the media query for it and this title for the text and this title for the price and there's some margin between them so I added a sized box in here and a sized box in here and in here there's the category name and I added a padding or margin at the end of this widget so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next tutorial